One of the main tools that you might be using within Canvas is the announcements feature. And you might remember at the very beginning in the settings, we chose to have announcements at the top of the page. I'm going to show you real quick my biology course from this year. And you can see that here's kind of my home page. It had a calendar or agenda. It has information about different things. Um, but above that is where I have my three announcements that get shown, the most recent three announcements. And you can choose that number. In, in order to add announcements, you need to go to the announcements section which you will find on the left menu of your screen. And here you are going to see that there's no current announcements yet, but I'm going to click on the plus announcement on the right hand side of my screen. And here you can type in your topic. So you can say something like course registration info, and you could have text or information. Now, you created an assignment that you wanted students to watch the presentation about course reg info. So what you can do in your announcement is you have again those same rich text editor features. So I'm going to click on a numbered list and I'm going to say um, please watch the or please review the slides or watch the video, whatever it is, um, about blah 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 course reg but you can make it so it links to that specific assignment. So over on the right hand side of your screen, you'll see this navigation menu. And here I can choose assignments and I can take this counselor presentation and click on it and it will add it. So I can say, please review the slides titled counselor presentation. Or I could say then like go to the module and I can click on modules and I can do course registration info. So I could add any of the content that I've created, such as pages, such as um, whatever I want. And it just brings it in and then so students can click on it in the announcement. You could also add video. You could add again, whatever it is you want in the announcements. And the best part about this is you can send it to your whole class or to all of your students, so all sections. But let me go back into my bio course real quick. So if I go into biology announcements and create an announcement, you will see that I have the option, instead of sending it to all my sections, I can give it just to like first period or just a second period. So if you have it split up by your courses, it could go to all of your particular ninth graders. And then I am just gonna say save after I'm done. Oh, before that, though, you can add attachments. You can delay posting. So if you don't want this to post, you're working on it on the weekend and you don't want it to post until Monday morning at 8 a.m., you can do that. Um, you can allow liking. And remember in the settings at the very beginning, I had you turn off student discussion. If you want, you can go back into settings and you can give students the ability to add comments. Just be careful um, in case students are writing inappropriate things. Um, I tend to just tell them, like, if you have questions, please send me an email. And make sure you spell questions, right? I didn't, but oh well. And then you're going to say save. And so that will save that announcement for you. And you will notice when I go to my home page right now, it's not there in recent announcements. And that was because I delayed the sending. So I'm going to go back into this announcement and I'm going to change it so that it's actually going to be public now. So I'm going to uncheck delayed posting. I'm going to save this. And when I go back to home, you'll now see the announcement is up on the top of the page. And it will only go to the sections that you choose for it to go to. So announcements is going to be kind of the best way for you to send out information to students. Um, you might choose to use it over 
assignments. It really depends on whether or not you want to see if students finish things or not. But again, you can link the assignments that you have directly into the announcement using that side menu.